Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a static web server using Node.js in just a couple minutes. Alright, and I'm going to give you two different options. First is going to be this Node Static module, um, which is really nice. We can set uh, a certain folder to serve static files, and we can also have uh, error handlers. Okay, If we get a 404 error, we can load a certain uh, HTML file, which is really nice. Um, so we'll do that and then there's also one called live server which you can install globally and then just run it from whatever directory you're in and you can run any HTML file. Alright so I'm going to do the, both of those. So first we'll start with node static. Now you do need node.js installed. If you don't have that just go to nodejs.org and download it and install it. Once you do that I'm going to create a folder here and we'll call this um, We'll just call it node server and I'm going to open up a command line. Now I'm using this git bash utility, but of course you can use your standard Windows command prompt or your Mac or Linux terminal. All right. And first thing we need to do, like with any node app, we need to create a package.json file and we can run npm init to do that. Okay. It's going to ask us some questions. The name, I'm just going to click enter description. I'll just say simple server um, entry point let's call it server.js and then we'll just enter through the rest all right so now if we go in that folder we have a package.json file okay if we open that up it should look something like this so now we're going to install node static so let's go ahead and go back to the command line and we'll say npm install node static dash dash save all right and that should add it right here as a dependency so now what we need to do is create our server.js file okay we'll open that up and then if we look at the documentation here at npmjs.com we can just grab this really copy it paste it in here okay I'm gonna get rid of these comments all right and let's go ahead I'm gonna change the port from 8080 to 8000 actually you know what I usually like to do is uh, have a port variable so we'll say port equals 8000 and then down here we'll say port and this also takes in uh, a callback function so you can have something happen after it, it runs. I just want to do a console log. We'll say server started on port and then we'll just concatenate that port variable. All right, and that, that should do it. So let's go ahead and save it and we'll go back to our uh, command line here and let's run node server okay we get server started on port 8000 now we don't have a public folder so we're probably gonna get some kind of error localhost 8000 and if we look down here we get a 404 error alright so let's go ahead and stop that for a second and then we'll create our public folder And we'll add in index HTML. Let's open that up. We'll just put some, let's say, hello world. Save that. And now let's try running it again. and we go back and reload and we get our index file now if we try to go to a page that's not there like about html you'll see that we just get this blank white page which i i would think would throw an error but i guess it, it doesn't so we want to create a custom error page okay when this happens so what we can do is we can go right in here and add in a function Okay, we're going to pass in an event parameter here and then res. 
and then we can check for the status. We'll say if e and e dot status is equal to 404, which we know is an error, then we're going to say file dot serve file. Okay, because we can serve individual files. And we'll say, let's do slash error dot HTML. All right, and then we're also going to pass in 404, an empty object, and then our request and response. All right, and that should do it. So let's save it, and then we get a create inside the public folder. We'll create error.html. Okay, let's open that up. And we're just going to put in an h1 that says not found. Okay, and you can obviously put whatever you want here. So let's save that and then we'll restart the server. Okay, let's make sure we can go to our home page or our index page. Then if we go to about.html, which isn't there, it's going to load that error page, so not found. No matter what we put here, it's going to go to the not found. All right. Um, obviously, if we do create the about page, it'll go to it. All right, so try about.html now, and it loads it. All right, so you now have a static web server. All right, so that's node static. Now, live server is a little different. It's uh, basically we're going to install it globally so that we can load it from anywhere, uh, which is really helpful. So let's close all this out. And we're going to create another folder here. And I'll just call it node. Um, We'll say node server 2. And I'm going to open up my command line there. Actually, I'll just navigate to it. All right. And then we're going to install live server. So npm install live server. And you want to make sure you add the dash G. That'll install it globally. All right, and I'm going to create an index.html page. And we'll open that up. Okay, let's see how that's doing. That's installed. And now I'm going to run. Uh, what am I going to run? I think we just run live server and I think I'm gonna get an error because I believe it uses port 8080 which is used on my machine alright so see how I'm getting an error yours probably won't unless you are you that port is being used now in my case I'm gonna use a different port and that's really easy to do we just say live server and dash dash port equals and I'm gonna say 8000 and that's going to open it up. You can see it's at my local host, port 8000, and it's loading that index page. Okay, so it's as easy as that. Now, if I create here about.html, and save that, and then let's try to go to slash about, and there we go. And what's nice about this is it's all, it's just as it says it's a live server, meaning that if I go ahead and ch and edit this and save, I don't even have to reload it. You'll see that it reloads on its own. So it's really helpful, really easy to use, and I've actually been using it lately for uh, for a lot of my my Node projects. All right, so I just wanted to give you guys some information on these two modules. I'm going to start making some more short videos 
recently I've been making a lot of courses and, and long tutorials but I do want to make some more short videos just showcasing one or two different modules or, or technologies alright so hopefully you found this helpful and I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe if you're not already subscribed and thanks for watching